prepare to get yeasty. Today, Brittany reviews the beautiful story of one slice of bread's epic and emotional journey in the new game, I Am Bread. You heard me right. Here's hoping for a sequel to I Am Bread called I Am Mayonnaise. Maybe by the sixth entry in the series, we'll have enough for a whole sandwich. This episode is brought to you by Gamedius, the god of artistic motion gaming. Can you guess what today's game is? I am bread. No, but literally, that's the name of the game, is I am bread. It's me being a slice of bread that wants to become toast. Who would have thought a game like this would become so popular? It's from the makers of Surgeon Simulator, so if you know anything about the game, then it's gonna either be really fun for you, or really, ugh, really rage matic I'm sure that most of you have actually seen the rage-inducing fits that this causes. I'll start off by saying that this game is unlike any game that I've played before. And I've played some pretty weird games. I Am Bread is a really simple concept. You're a piece of bread who travels across the room to become toast in a toaster. But there's a catch. Everybody's heard of the five second rule, but this is the five second rule to the extreme. No. Touching the floor rapidly reduces your edibility. Once you run out of edibility, you fail and you have to start all over. So this means you have to crawl and climb over anything that you can find in order to get to your destination without touching the floor. I jumped into this game pretty quickly after watching just a few people play it, and the controls were easy enough. I used a controller, but you can also use the keyboard instead. But from what I've heard, it's a lot easier with the controller. The trick is working around the crappy camera angles, which can happen pretty easily. For being a really silly game, the graphics and interaction with the world is very impressive. Sometimes they're a little extreme, like a piece of bread breaking a plate when it lands on it, but the fact that they took the time to make these things happen is pretty cool. In my first run through of the game, I didn't do too badly, and I didn't rage much. The hardest part about the game was getting my piece of bread into the stupid toaster. See how easy that is? But overall, I think this game is fun, catchy, and totally unique, and I definitely think I'm gonna play more. Thank you guys for joining me while I talk about this ridiculous game. If you would like to see the full gameplay, you can check it out on my channel. It's Brits Games, or you can check the link in the description below. Anyways, guys, that's it, and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye! Initiate vacuum cleaner! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! And the bread is so floppy. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'll start off by saying that I don't know my line. And once you run out of edibility. <laughs> this chair is so crummy. <laughs> Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.